Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I guess I don't have mail. How sad. What am I doing? Why am I on AOL 4.0 on Windows 8.1? Well, that's because this is LGR and greetings. You know, nostalgia does weird things to you. So I am going to be showing you how to run this on Windows 8.1. What the heck? I didn't click on anything. Uh, at least how, do, how to run it that way for now. They're actually getting rid of this. And uh, if you saw this tweet here, that I posted a couple weeks ago, I actually got this working for one of my videos I did. I actually did a video on combat tanks and I wanted to show the AOL game section. And yeah, I got this working and tweeted out how to do it. People have been trying to do it since then, and uh, well, I'm still trying it out. <laughs> and then they put up this, uh, this message at the beginning. It says, oh, this is no longer going to be a supported version of AOL after June 30th, 2015. So, if you want to try this out, then follow my instructions here in this video. Before it's too late, because I I'm, I don't know if I, like, reminded them that their servers are still online for this or what. <laughs> uh, for this portion of the video, I'm just going to show what you can actually do on this version of AOL. Uh, later on in the video, though, if you just want to click this dealio right here, then I will uh, actually show you how to do it step by step. It's pretty easy. You don't even need to pay for anything. Not really an account is needed either. At least not an actual AOL kind of account. You just need an email address and stuff. So anyway, I'll show you that. For now, though, this is what you can kind of do in here, and there's a lot of things that are... <laughs> oh, man, you should upgrade to AOL 5.0. Mm, moving right up now to 1998 there. Yeah, some things just don't work. In fact, a lot of stuff doesn't. You'll try to go to uh, these things here, and it'll just try to take you to a website instead of a channel. And that's sad. I used to love these channels. Some of them do still work, like AOL Personal Finance here. Not that I really care... But, uh, wow, that actually might have froze it. I froze it. Right, so this is not the most stable program, as you might imagine. It's not supposed to be able to run. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think it's supposed to run at all. I don't even know why it does exactly, but it does. So, uh, let's, let's try to find another one. Here's one that I know for sure works. Okay, the kids only section. And this is really interesting. You can actually, uh, look, I can still vote on my favorite subject in school. Language arts. Ah, it doesn't work. Go figure. Skater tips with Andy McDonald. Uh, trading spaces, boys versus girls. So you can kind of figure out when this is supposed to, uh, or when this was last updated. So, like, say if I go to movies and video here. We got the uh, the Mary Muppet movie, Bionicle DVD, Secondhand Lions, Good Boy, I don't know. Uh, there should be you know, Finding Nemo. So this was, like, 2003, maybe? 2004-ish? I think we, yeah, there's a Star Wars uh, Episode 2 thing still in here. So that was the last time that any of this stuff was updated. And in fact, you'll see over here my weather actually says cloudy, 37 degrees. This was from, for some reason, this last updated on February 23rd, 2010 yeah, in my area. So I don't know what in the world actually was happening here that only some of these things... Uh, would update later on and then yeah, look this one the forecast for the national one is 2007 pretty cool that some of this is actually still loading i think i, I think this is really neat <laughs> uh whether anyone else does i don't really care because this i loved aol in retrospect <laughs> i liked it at the time like really early on like say 1995 to 97 or so when i had first gotten it um, I, I first got it in 95, I believe. Because I had Prodigy before that, and of course BBS is before that. Around the same time, actually. And, uh, you know, so when AOL came along, it was just so, like, there was so much to do here. All the channels were super neat. All these, like, graphics. And there were videos and well, video clips, sort of. And sound and things to try and uh, mess with. Like I was trying to say, uh, AOL was its own, like, self-contained little network. It, it had the actual internet as well, right? But it also had all of this AOL exclusive stuff, and this is what made AOL interesting for a time. Especially for me, though, what really made it interesting was this games channel, which only gives me an error if I try to open it here. Same with computing. I loved both of those, and uh, you could also just type in, like, whatever kind of keywords here, like, say, if I wanted to... Uh... <laughs> Type in Mary Kate Nashley. I, I think I misspelled it. It doesn't matter. 
So you could go to like a keyword whatever, and it would take you to an AOL channel, which was different than any website. And at the time it looked better than websites. That was kind of neat. And then of course you also had what became AIM. So uh, that's this stuff here, these, uh, you know, AOL chat stuff. Okay, I don't want to do that. That was the uh, the buddies, the buddy chat thing, which, I, like I said, became AOL Instant Messenger. Or I guess maybe this is AOL Instant Med Messenger. I don't, I don't even know anymore. I don't remember all those terms. But then there was also the chat rooms. Yeah, so you could just choose, like, whatever kind of um, chat room you wanted to go into. What is this? Twilight? What the heck? I don't think that's that kind of Twilight. Opening soon. So you could go and open a chat room here. And, uh, wow, there's nobody in there. Go figure. The created by AOL members ones. Wow, these. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of interesting chats open here. But yeah, you can make your own chat rooms and do whatever you wanted. It's pretty neat, actually. I never chatted very much, but I know a lot of people that did. Oh, I, I don't even know if I want to click on any of these. Fantasy Roleplay One. Let's see what that is. Oh, see. For some reason, there's 30 people in here. <laughs> That's actually pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I don't want to say anything as, for fear of like pure and sexy doll. All right, somebody say something. Christian moms too. Breakfast Club. My wife. Oh dear. I was always told never to go into the created by AOL member section as a kid, so. <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> Alright, so that was that. Chat rooms were a thing. I was never really big into chat, but I respected the fact that it was there, and it was always interesting to be able to connect with people in such a direct way. I'd never experienced anything like that before AOL. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Can we go shopping? No, we can't. Can we do health? I doubt it. Uh, can we do families? Nope. Local? Oh, that actually works. For some reason, it okay, well, it's actually got my right area. What the heck? Oh, seriously? <laughs> oh, <we'll just laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that going. See what happens, Danielle. Forty-three. I doubt it. Oh, that is hilarious. Just go. Oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that was that was unexpected. Uh, that's AOL. Well. Woo! Right. So local stuff. Hmm. Let's see what we have here in the restaurants. Oh, it doesn't work. Frick. Here's another one that's actually pretty neat. So yeah, well, it looks like we got Pirates of the Caribbean as being the uh, the current deal here. Alanis Morissette. Jennifer Garner's something here. Oh, yeah. And, of course, a lot of this we just don't have access to. Now, that kind of makes sense that, uh, well, pfft, get out of here. Here's something else, though, that I figured out that you can still do. This right here is a website called, I don't even know what, but it's got hidden AOL system commands. I'm not even sure why it's they're called that. These are just like, they're just links to things that were inside of AOL, and for whatever reason, you can still find them. It's kind of odd. Uh, like here, this one's really cool. This is a, a link to the uh, uh, election 2000. Gore expected to concede. <gasps> what? You mean they're still trying to decide that in Florida? Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, this is pretty neat, actually. Although, of course, a lot of these you can't click on. Oh, for some reason, this you can. Oh, what is this? Oh, neat. Well, because I can actually click some of these uh, news things here. What the heck? Okay. So why is this stuff in here? I don't know, but it's kind of great. Oh man, I'm starting to feel bad about leaving my, my chat buddy hanging right there. Her cigarette's never gonna get lit. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. I wish this still worked. This stuff here was, uh, well, not not this in particular, but these kind of things that would pop up like this, you could actually see 
all sorts of programs and stuff that you could download, and that's where I got so many games back in the day. It was in this game section, which of course does not work right now. But what you would do is you would click that, and it would bring up like a, a menu like that, like I was seeing there earlier. Oh, I think I just froze it again. Yep. Well, anyway, it doesn't quite work. But if you do want to mess around this and see what else you can find that's hidden in here, I mean, there is a lot hidden what you can find that actually does work. And, you know, the uh, the email actually still works. I don't know uh, why it's frozen. I can sort of do things, but sort of not. Hmm. But yeah, you can actually send and receive email and everything right from within the old school AOL thing here. And, and you'll get the, you've got mail at the beginning and everything. It's great. All right, so let's show you actually how to set up AOL itself. Okay, so there are a couple ways to actually accomplish this here. One is oldversion.com. I'm not sure I'd recommend it because it's been just overwhelmed with, like, misleading ads and crap. Uh, the other one is oldapps.com. This one actually is the one that I ended up using. You can just grab this AOL uh, 4.0 download right here, and it's got all this crap going on, but the downloads do at least start automatically, so you can just sort of uh, drop it in right there. So when you start up the AOL installation, it'll ask if you are a new member or a current member. I guess if you do have a current account somehow, then that's fine, but I don't know. Hitting new member seems to work the best, so it'll bring you to here after it checks for an existing version. That might take a while, it might look like it's freezing, but it's not. So just hit next, and it will install it. And after that's done, it will bring up AOL. We're going to go to a custom setup here. This right here, we don't need a modem because we're not using a modem. We're going to run this on a modern broadband connection. So we do TCP IP. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so we're going to try to sign on here. And obviously we can't because we don't have a, a screen name. So for the next step here, we actually have to go and sign up for a free AOL email address. And actually, this is just the... Regular AOL.com screen name thingy. Just just click get a free username. You don't want to do the trials for AOL or anything like that. Because really all we need is this. So just put in all your information here. And the two things that are going to be kind of... Uh, actually need to be something somewhat legit. Are the f mobile phone number and the alternate email. You can just use a burner for either one of these. I used uh, a Google Voice mobile phone thing. And a burner email address. 10minutemail.com or maildrop.cc, anything like that, it's going to work just fine. All right, so if we see this, this is not actually going to work. If you try to put in any of this stuff, it'll say, oh, it doesn't work, it's not supported, this version is too old, all sorts of problems. So we'll just hit cancel Goodbye. here and actually go to a guest. This is where you can put in that information that you just signed up for on the AOL website. Welcome. And for whatever reason, that will work, or at least it does for me. And you can just use this at least until June 30th, 2015, which is pretty cool. I mean, you know, for what it is, this is something that's just going to be disappearing, uh, presumably after June 30th. So I think it's worth taking a look at, even though there's not a whole lot that you can do here, but <laughs> you never know. Maybe you'll make a new uh, cigarette wielding lady friend who will want you to light her up, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, well, that, that's AOL 4.0. That's kind of neat. I should write myself an email. There's only one more thing to keep in mind, is, is if you try to actually sign off like how you should, then it's, it's just going to try to upgrade you to the new version automatically. So just go to the main module thing and exit that out. Well, that is all for my America Online thing here. I would like to maybe do a retrospective at some point, but as of now, why not give it a shot? Let me know if it worked for you or not. Maybe it'll stop working, who knows. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see some other randomness on older school stuff like this, and you're on the right channel, why not check out some of my other videos that I've made, or, you know, subscribe if you want to do that. You can also do Twitter and Patreon and Facebook and whatever else. I've got links here. Why not click them if you're intrigued? And as always, thank you very much for watching.